Hi, I'm Mike Dwyer and thanks for joining us at the Guardian Jet Learning Center today. We're discussing Aircraft Finance 102, Net Present Value, commonly referred to as NPV analysis. Uh, NPV is a financial projection or cash flow and brings a future series of sums or payments back to a present value based on a discount or interest rate. NPV usually builds upon the foundation of a life cycle cost model that includes an initial, initial capital outlay, operating costs over the term of the analysis, and a terminal value or residual value at the end of the analysis. Uh, net present value improves life cycle cost conclusions by introducing the time value of money or the cost of capital into the equation. So NPV analysis is at its best when it's comparing, comparing one scenario to another. Uh, let's take a deeper look at the math behind net present value because uh, it can be confusing at first. It was to me anyway, and we're going to try to make this as simple as possible. So net present value looks at a future payment or sum and discounts it back to a present value today. So uh, uh, discount rate can be a confusing term, so let's look at it so to, with, next to something we're just more intuitive with, an interest rate. It would, frankly is what it is, we just call it a discount rate. And an interest rate, if we start with a dollar today and we earn 5% interest over a 12 month period or one year, we all get that we have a dollar five. If we earn 10% interest over a one year period, we all get that we have a dollar ten at the end of the year. Well, a discount rate works in a similar inverse way to bring a future sum back to a present value. So one dollar, one dollar in 12 months, a future sum at a 5% discount rate has a present value today of 95 cents. Pretty logical. At a 10% discount rate, that same dollar would have a present value today of 90 cents. So discount rate just means interest rate backwards and it gets its name discount rate because the present value of a future sum is typically less or discounted. So the net or N in NPV acronym refers to the present value of a series of future sums or payments over a number of equal intervals. Typical projections run between five and ten years into the future. So now that we have the fundamentals uh, of the NPV math, how is that use, useful for business aviation managers when they're looking at the equipment they operate and the decisions about that purchasing, uh, selling, leasing, and the timing of those intervals? Um, the first, there's really three uh, applications where it's very powerful. The first is when you're looking at a model that has very different purchase prices uh, in the beginning, operating expenses over the term and residual values at the back end. Classic case for this is when we look at a new versus used purchase. So in a new purchase, we typically have a higher purchase price or capital cost, uh, lower operating cost because you're in warranty for a typical, usually five years, and then a higher residual value at the back end of the analysis then if you looked at a, a pre-owned or used aircraft, depending on how far back you go in age, but you're typically looking at a lower purchase price, higher operating costs in an out of warranty older piece of equipment, and lower residual value at the back end. So the net present value interest rate when applied to that, that series over time kind of makes it an apples to apples comparison of what's the best value for you at a given interest rate or discount rate. Another example of this uh, application is fractional versus whole ownership. The fractional model, uh, which is so popular, includes a low initial capital cost, higher operating cost than owning your own aircraft, which is, makes sense because in the fractional model, you really have to operate the hour, almost two hours for everyone you fly, and then a lower capital residual value at the end of the analysis. Versus if you own a whole aircraft, you have a higher uh, initial capital outlay, lower operating costs, and a higher residual value at the back end. What becomes very interesting in fractional analysis and NPV models is you model those two com com comparative numbers at different levels of utilization. So 50 flight hours per year, 100 flight hours per year, 200, 250, 300, and so on, so that you can see when it makes sense to be in fractional equipment and when it makes financial sense to own a whole aircraft. 
So that's the first application that we really like to look at uh, NPV in a fleet planning process is with dramatically different purchase prices, operating costs, and terminal values. The se second application talks about the timing of that purchase or replacement. Do we do it today, a year from today, two years from today, three years? So when do we make the replacement is a very a, a good use of NPV or also how long do I keep the asset? Do I keep an aircraft five years or do I own it ten years? Because in a ten-year analysis, if I own it five years, I'll replace it once within the term. And what does that look like to buy, fly, sell? buy, fly, sell in 10 years versus buy in year one, sell in year 10. And you'll bring in the cost of capital into that conversation and, and equalize those two scenarios. A third and very powerful uh, common use for a net present value analysis is how do I pay for the airplane? Do I buy it for cash? Do I uh, do traditional debt financing with the bank? Do I uh, execute a lease with a lessor? So again, I'm looking at when I pay cash a high capital outlay in the beginning and uh, a sale at the end versus debt financing or a lease where you have little or no capital in the beginning, you pay more during the term because you're paying an interest rate to a, a lender or lessor and then at the end you could have different scenarios in the, the, uh, the terminal value or disposition of the aircraft. So again, uh, NPV analysis looks at, at how they all make sense together. Um, these are some of the most common ways of using NPV analysis to boost your fleet planning process to a more sophisticated level. Every aircraft owner will have a discount rate that they'll want to use in the NPV analysis. Typically it's somewhere between your cost of capital, 3 or 4 percent, and your, uh, your, your intended return on invested capital. So a typical discount rate will be you know, between 4 and 10 percent, or the range we typically see. Uh, if I've piqued your interest in net present value uh, analysis, please uh, give us a call and we'd, uh, we'd love to discuss your requirements in greater detail and see how we could help you and your aviation function. Thank you very much for joining us today. That's Aircraft Finance 102.